everyone, welcome back to Mummy Diaries. Today I am filming my daughter's nursery tour. She is almost one and a half and her name is Adriana. So this is the front of her door. As you can see, this is her initial A for Adriana. This is a project that I DIY myself, just hot glued some of these craft flowers on it. And yeah, pretty happy with how it turned out. And now let's go into her bedroom. As you walk into the door, this is the first thing you'll see. It's just this DIY headband stand that I made myself. Um, made from two cardboard pieces joined together with this lace. I covered it with transparent scrap paper to make it look nicer. Um, and just this ribbon to hold it up. And just use a commando hook there to hang it. So these are just some of her bows that I have. She has the other ones in her wardrobe. She has way too many bows, but these are just some that I have on display. So this is the shot of her whole room. As you can see, it's not a very big room at all. We don't have very big bedrooms in our house, but this is what I have to work with. So I'll start with this side here. Obviously, this is her wardrobe here. It's just a double screen um, mirrored wardrobe. I won't go into the actual wardrobe itself, but if you want to see a video as to what's in here and how I organize all her clothes and whatnot, I can do that for you. Just leave a comment down below. So as you turn to this side of the room, you have the nursing chair which is this um, plaid leather cream chair here, which I love. It's so soft. It does come with a little footrest, um, but that is currently in my room um, because it just takes up too much room in here. On the chair, she just has this white and gold foil cushion that I really love. I just like the way it looks with all the other decor in the room. And we just have this throw blanket over the top which is a really beautiful blush um, blanket with these little lace trims. I love this blanket and again it just sits there for decorative purposes. Next to her nursing chair is her cot. This is just a white wooden frame cot. Simple and classic. Just really love the way it looks. I love the thicker panels here on the sides. And it also has the same on the top of the cot there. And then just the normal thin railings there. So this is the, the Tasman e -cut. And it comes with this bottom tray here. It does have some silver handles. You do have to purchase this separately. It doesn't actually come as a set. Um, but I just like the convenience and the extra storage of it. Um, I just keep her blankets and sheets and whatnot in here and some muslin wraps. And again, this is the same brand as the cot. So that's that there. And inside her cot, we just have some decorative cushions and some little stuffed toys. Obviously, these don't stay in the cot with her when she sleeps. So these are just here for now. Um, I just like the way it looks in her cot so she does have a little um, pillow behind here that she does like to sleep on she is one and a half now so she is safe to sleep on a little flat pillow um, so she does sleep with that one but she doesn't sleep on these cushions here so this one is just a beautiful floral print with her name in gold foil and just a quilted pink cushion there love these two together and she just has this pink teddy and a little princess soft toy there that she got as gifts when she was born <clears throat> i just have a pink sheet on her bed nothing special there and just this really nice warm um, woven blanket um, it is autumn here in Australia, so she does need a warm blanket. Um, so that is currently what she is sleeping with. 
as you go up to the pot we have this beautiful white canopy here and inside here I just have her floral mobile that I made for her um, really really simple with some fishing wire and some fake flowers I just think it's so cool when she's laying in her court she can look up and see the flowers hanging above and on her wall I've just kept it really simple and plain I didn't want to clutter the room too much it is such a small room so up here she just has a just imagine little crown in baby pink and it does have a switch on the side there that you can use as a nightlight we don't use this one as a nightlight because she has two other nightlights in her room. So it is there just for decorative purposes. Down below that is her wooden plaque with her name. I actually hand painted this myself. Um, when I bought it, it just came raw wood. So I had to paint it, which was fine. Um, really love this color and how it turned out. So that's that one. And below that, we just have those sleepy eyes that are so popular right now. Um, of course, I had to add that to her room. And they were super inexpensive. And that's what the little decor thing looks like in her room. I'm sorry if you can hear some banging um, in the background. My children are home today and they are playing in the other room. So if you hear some noise, that is what it is. And on the other side of the wall, just above the nursing chair, is just this simple little frame that says, Be Beautiful. Really pretty and simple. Like I said, it's got a white frame and this canvas print inside. Again, with the gold foil. So it goes really nicely with the gold foil on this cushion here as well as her name on that one there so i'll give you another quick look at her cot and canopy her wall decor and her nursing chair so on the other side as you zoom across we just have her window her blinds and her white block out curtains down below we have just this rocking i guess a little rocker um it's a little bunny that I actually bought for my son when he was a baby and now it's handed down to my daughter. So super cute. And she just has this furry pink blush rug, which I love. And I think it adds a nice little texture to the room. And we'll go to this other side here. So I'll start with the top. It looks quite messy, but we don't have much storage in here. So this is the best alternative I could do. These are just the little people, big toys that they have. So they have a little playground one, a castle one. There's a few ones um, just behind there. And they've got a safari truck or car. And then like a construction one that my son also likes to play with. So they just sit up there because there's no other place for them. On this shelf here, this is just like a bookshelf that we laid um, a crossway so it fits nicely above this big Ikea unit so above here we just have her birth frame or birth announcement in a frame obviously her name and a birth her newborn photo where she was born her height and weight and whatnot so that's sitting on the top shelf there behind that I just have some DIY teaching resources that I use with my older son over here we just have her wooden tea set so she's got some um tea sets in here so little cakes and cups and whatnot she has this little angel figurine that she got for her christening from her godparents and she has a vase with some flowers behind there and on this side she just has um this wooden castle with princesses and prince goes with a princess theme of her room and she has a, a ballerina little doll behind there. This little thing here is actually a night light. It's got a switch on the side like that. And above it, we just have her money box that we just keep on top. Behind there is just like a little toy and some stuffed animals. In these drawers here, we just have some crafts and things that we've put away there's also a little sewing kit in there too so just some random i won't go through those ones 
in here we've just got some extra toys i think these ones are just stuffed animals these are some legos some more random toys in there and more toys in there <laughs> lots and lots of toys very lucky children on these shelves we have some toys out on display and these are toys that she uses regularly so she has this powwow toy that lights up and plays music she has her little live pets here with two little birds that she got for i believe her birthday or christmas she has a set of books here and a little pickaboo elephant she has the same bow wow toy here but this one's like a radio she loves music and dancing hence why she has so many musical dancing toys and she has a peppa pig selection of stuffed animals back there she's also a fan of pepper um she has this vtech um boat or arc that she loves to play with you just need to pull these little animals through here obviously when you turn it on music plays um the animals fall, fall inside you press the button and the whole thing opens and the little animals come out and you redo the whole thing over again <laughs> a lot of fun for her a little bit annoying with the sounds but she loves it and then there's another monster insert toy back there on this side we have another night light this one's the a little star and this is her nappy canny over there which we just keep behind her night light and below that we have her books well hers and her brothers um just along the bottom there they're kind of in some sort of order well, I like to keep it in some sort of order, but they do get mixed up quite quickly, as you can imagine. But I just love the idea of having books on the bottom shelf because for one, they are heavy and for another, they have easy access to it. And I do like to encourage reading. Um, so I do keep them on the bottom so they can pull them out whenever they want. They don't have to ask for me to grab them off top shelves and whatnot. So I do like the idea of having them. Down below, they can access it when they want and read it. I often find my daughter in here pulling out several books and just reading for 20 minutes or more on the floor by herself. On the side of this big IKEA unit here, I'll just do a pan shot of it now. On the side here, we have this little wooden cube. These are quite popular and you'll probably see them in quite a lot of nurseries out there this was my son's when he was a baby he got this gifted to him I believe for his first Christmas um, it's actually a really good storage unit as well because this comes off and inside she has a bunch of toys <laughs> so instead of buying another toy box we just use this here and above that we have this little height chart that she got gifted for her christening it's a really sweet gift I love this one it's got her name engraved there and you can mark off her heights on the chart there I got up to eight months clearly I have to update that because she's now 18 months so I will need to do that probably after this video now that I've noticed that but that just hangs there like that and the last thing in her room is this beautiful mirrored castle hello that's me <laughs> There's this beautiful mirrored castle here it's wooden with this bright pink paint and i really like it because it does match her name plaque um, that you can see actually through that mirror you see that there and because it is a princess themed room i thought it was perfect to go in her room due to it being a castle cut out so i thought that was really cool and that's about it that is her room and that's the tour of my daughter's nursery if you have liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and let me know if you want to see a video of my son's room we redid his room from a nursery to a big boy's room when he turned two so if you want to see how we've decorated his room into a big boy's room then don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know and I'll be sure to make that video. This video has given you some ideas or inspiration for your daughter's little nursery. Um, if it has, again, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.